Hello YouTube, this is uh, Not So Slim Jim again. I am doing a DSG tune update for my 2012 uh, Jetta Sport Wagon TDI. Anyways, I'm doing it through Kerma TDI, if you can't tell, I got their Cassie unit hooked up already. And uh, I know they have the instructions for it, and while not everyone is always good with uh, picture instructions, so I'm making a quick how-to video. So I'm going to make this fast and real easy. First thing you're going to do is you're going to remove your air box. Now, I just undid mine and moved it out of the way, but it's real simple. They'll send you instructions of pictures. There's a bunch of torque bits around it. You undo it, you pull it up. The bottom piece, you just literally lift the thing up, take it out of the way. There's going to be a little breather in the bottom's kind of a pain in the butt. All that stuff is easy. From that point, now that way you get, so you got the battery down there directly below the battery. There is a cable right there. Now I know Malone Tune did one for it too. I'm just doing a little extra. Now, what it is, I'm not gonna pull mine because mine's reading right now. There's a tab on top that's pointing at roughly the two o'clock position. You don't gotta push in, you don't gotta pull. You take the tab, you rotate it counterclockwise to it reaches about the 10 o'clock position. You'll feel it get loose. So from that point, pull that little guy out the way. Now you're gonna take the cable that comes with your Kerma TDI CAS and you wanna run it underneath that big wire I'm pointing at right there that goes to your starter. Because if you try doing it from top, it kinks the cable, it's a pain in the butt. So as you can see, goes underneath, you put the cord in the nine o'clock position, and then you're gonna rotate it back to about the two o'clock position. It's not gonna really make a snapping sound, but you're gonna feel it get firm, it's not gonna move any further, okay? From that point, you will take the cable, you'll hook the, uh, the, the large connector up to your cast unit, positive, negative, real friggin' easy. There's gonna be a switch wire, which is power on and off for the transmission for when you're reading, don't worry about that. Uh, that they'll instruct you. There's a little LED, so when it's on, it glows. When it's off, it's off. Leave an off position until you're told otherwise. Take the cable, hook it up to the back of the cast unit, which is just like a regular pruner cable, and goes to your computer. Now, Charlie will send you the uh, the cast unit. I don't know if you can see this. You can see my fat button in reflection. But anyways, he will send you instructions for a download. Download it. It'll work on any PC. Then from that point, once you get it downloaded, you hook your USB up to your computer, you read it, the instructions are real simple, he, he made them idiot proof with little bullets and press this, press that, download it, then you're going to mail it to Charlie, he writes you a new tune based upon your transmission settings, sends it back to you, put it in a computer, you upload it to your transmission, everything will be pretty much follow the directions just like the new Q Pro. And from that point, uh, wrap everything back up nice and pretty, put it in a box, and send it out. Uh, questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and hit, up, uh, hit me up. Uh, yeah, I know I got a cracked tooth. My, my kid headbutted me in the face the other week, and I'm waiting for a dentist. <laughs> but uh, questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and hit me up, and uh, help me up as best as I can. Take it easy, y'all.